Hello students. So this class I just would I just like to explain uh, the problem which is from week number three example number four. So a car unwound from a drum of 30 mm diameter draw the locus of free end of the coir for unwinding through that an angle 30 degree draw also tangent and normal at any point this is the question so it's so uh, it's nothing but if there is some rounded profile you are if you are unwinding the wire so how the path uh, path will be this curve only we just going to find we just going to find the curve path okay so let us draw a 130 mm diameter of drum okay so initially 30 diameter it's supposed to be 1.5 is the radius just make one uh, yeah So let it be the first circle. So let me divide in four equal part at the initial because we know the center. So all are 90 degree. So here for that we need one guided line that's supposed to be pi into d. So pi into 30 diameter is is a exactly 94 mm 94.2 so i am dropping up to here okay so let it be the point the end point of this profile let me mark this is p and this is q okay i just i'm just dividing this circle in a eight equal part so each equal part it's supposed to be 45 degree so let me divide in 8 equal part just mark it by the protractor and divide in a 8 numbers of equal part if you are seeing book for a better accuracy they made it for the, for the 12 numbers of equal part here i just make for eight numbers of equal part it's not it's not going to gives you that much changes because it's a since that circle is very small it's very difficult to draw within this a4 size sheet okay hence this is 94 pi d pi into 30 is 94.2 divided by 8 part so let it be 11.78 so 11.8 mm so let me mark here i just just correct 11.8 so between this 12 to 11.8 now i am dividing this circumference of the circumference length of the circle in a 8 equal part 3 4 5 6 7 let it be 7 ok so now let me give before that I just write this is pi d So this is 30 mm diameter. Uh, I'm just giving the name here 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5, 6, 7, almost 8. Hence, in this circle, I just start from here the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 obviously p is 8 okay now here only from this point we just going to unwound the wire unwound the wire and it will reach at 8 okay for that 
for each and every point we supposed to draw the normal line the normal line so to identify the profile so let me fix the protector here at 1 I am marking the 90 degree far similarly I am fixing the protector here I just making 90 degree similarly I am fixing the protector and marking the normal line that is 90 degree similarly 4 is not required anyway it is horizontal line I am fixing at 5 I am marking the 90 similarly 6 is not required 7 I am marking 90 so wherever I just mark the 90 I just connect by a line I just make a small line for 1 2 see here the point is here 90 3 4 5 6 7 so I just make the normal line for each and every point from 1 to 8 ok now we know the distance which is measured P to 1 dash or 1 to P okay you draw a circular line so that is means at the point you can name that is p1 now keep so first initially i kept one as a center p as a radius i just mark one small arc see one as a center p as a radius i made one small arc similarly now i am just keeping two as a center p1 as a radius two as a center P1 as a radius. I just mark this. Okay. Now again keep so here it is P2. This point is P2. Now you just keep 3 as a center, P2 as a radius. And drop the line. This will come like this. So this is P3. Now keep 4 as a center P3 as a radius you leave a R so that will mean that the point is P4 now you just keep 5 as a center P4 as a radius you just leave the line so up to here this you can mark that is P 5 similarly keep 6 as a center p5 as a radius it's going almost here this is p6 now keep 7 as a center p6 as a radius you leave arc So that is P7. Now fix 8 as the center or P as a center. P1 as a radius. It has to meet here. slight mistake
so exactly it will meet so this is the profile for a involute of drum obviously uh, we need to draw normal and tangent anywhere at the point okay let us mark here one point that is for a tangent so let us mark this point is m just draw the tangent line this is tangent t and t the point is mid and you extend this line it's supposed to be 90 so this is a normal line so hence uh, finally you fix the normal and tangent and for the involute so p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 and p8 is the path traced for the involute so it's obviously from week 3 example number 4 okay thank you